I'm working in my repurposed book. It's a, an old Cricut book, I think, which I made into a journal. And I can't wait to paint the covers. But anyway, we're doing a page today. So I've just applied a couple of coats of gesso. And now adding some pale olive with a very dry brush because I really love the effect that that gives and I don't do a lot to the background on this page. Shock horror. I'm working with greens and browns today with a bit of blue and gold. Uh, this is, I love this stamp and I love painting on it to stamp. It's a Fisca stamp from the Tartan and Time um, set and it's a great background stamp. So I'm doing the same, I'm stamping it with some sand acrylic paint now. And pretty much with um, exception to the border, um, that's it for the background. So I printed this image, um, I googled it, found it on Google Images, and printed it using my inkjet printer onto copy paper, so it's very thin. And cut it out with my knife, my craft knife, because I am scissors challenged. Um, these are by Franchville, um, a packet of doilies there. And I'm just testing out the sizes and seeing what works best. And in the end, once the page was done and I'm looking, I'm editing the video, I'm thinking I should have probably put one of them at least in the corner and I put them both on the bottom edges. But, you know, one day I might... Um, like exactly what I've done. Uh, I also printed these, I got these from Google Images and I printed these using the inkjet printer onto lightweight, lightweight cardstock. Now you'll wonder why the colours in these are very, well I would call them retro, but they're not vintage like the stack of vintage books so the quote ties it all together I think so I'm just trying to work out how I'm going to position the elements on the page here and I cut a few um, teacup or well, die cut a few teacups and I end up just using one of them Yeah, I'm thinking I need to make a tea bag as well. So I'm colouring up the smaller doily with, with some Distress Oxide inks, um, fossilised amber and walnut stain in a tartan style. And I'm spritzing it and then I roll over the paper towel roll, add some texture and dry it and done for that one. Now for the larger one I'm using Broken China Distress Oxide and I'm trying to give it a more modern look. I don't know how that worked but anyway some Heidi Swap gold colour shine <clears throat> still trying to work out how I'm positioning the cups and I think I'm happy with that. 
So now I'm going to do the border stamping. This is a stamp from the uh, Stampers Anonymous Tim Holtz Bitty Grunge stamp set. And I'm using Memento Espresso Truffle Dye Ink, I think it is. Anyway, all the products used will be in a blog post linked below the video here. So I um, just rubbed some of the Toffee Crunch Memento Ink onto a piece of cardstock, lightweight, and I um, die cut the hot teacup die again and now trying to attach the smoke the steam tendrils. It's a bit fiddly. And now the coffee and I started using um, sticky tape but thought better of that and just use some double double-sided tape. Attaching the saucer and I realized later that I used the wrong sized saucer. There was a larger one there. I'd cut a few dies and um, chose that one but chose the wrong saucer. So I'm just slitting um, each of these cups so I can stack them in one another. <coughs> now I have to make the tea bag. So I used a file folder, um, printed the quote onto it, using the inkjet printer um, and that was the We Are Memory Keepers Crocodile Corner Chomper and I used the angle and I'm going to I'm just working out how I'm going to position these on the page just attaching some hemp twine with a stapler I could not find my mini attacher anywhere I'll have to go searching for it. So I'm going to adhere the doilies with some fluid matte medium very carefully because they can tend to rip. And see so that's there. I thought Maybe that larger one probably could have been in the corner. Not cut so much off it. But anyway. Um, now I'm applying the books and the teacups using Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. I can't remember what the actual quote said. Everything that's old is new and everything that's new is old again or something like that. Um, so I really like that. I just inked up the edges there. I think it was vintage photo. It could have been walnut stain. I just um, adhered that to the page with some Aileen's Tacky Glue. Now I wanted to... Um, adhere that twine to the page and the best way I thought of doing that was using some matte medium. Could have used some gel medium, a bit thicker, but it still worked with the matte medium. Now once that was done I just decided to add some shading 
to the elements. Um, I'm using a Faber-Castell Pit Artist Big Brush Pen in Nougat. Now I decided to cut the um, doilies off with my craft knife. And I think I had a much enough oops um, shadow under that tea that stack of teacups, but I come back later and put more and I've ruined it. But anyway. <clears throat> I really like the colours. And I think even the um, bright retro style on the right, it sort of works. <laughs> well, it does with the quote anyway. But there it is, finished. So thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll be back next week with another video. Probably a journal page. Bye. Mm -hmm.